So, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure for me to announce my guest for today, the one and only Platinum Princess herself, Seika, star of about 200 movies. How are you doing? I'm wonderful, sweetheart. How are you? Yeah, I'll tell you what, I've been looking forward to this. It's, it's like a, all my boyhood dreams have suddenly come true at the age of 45. Oh, my. <laughs> Seeker, I mean, you did work with some of the all-time greats of the adult industry. I mean, John Holmes, uh, Veronica Hart. I mean, was it always strictly business, or, or was there friendship and anything else outside the actual films that you were making? Well, John and I were friends, um, not off off the set. We didn't hang out or anything like that. And I really didn't hang out with anybody in the business when I was working. It's sad. You know, a lot of the guys that aren't dead, I'm still friends with. Actually, what I was going to say, Sake, I mean, sadly, a lot of those in the 80s, I mean, they did die. I mean, how scary was it for you when AIDS sort of exploded onto the scene the way that it did? That's pretty much when I stopped uh, making movies. It was, a lot of it was because of that, because there was no mandatory testing, and mm. they weren't willing to have people wear condoms, and I said... You know, I don't care what amount of money you pay me. It's not worth my life. I mean, how, so how did it all start? Um, I owned seven adult bookstores. And so and that was in the 8 millimeter days when most, most of you listeners probably won't remember. But it was film. <laughs> it wasn't a disc. It was actual film. Because I had the little booths in the back where you'd go drop a coin. And you got to see a minute, two minutes, whatever, of a movie. So... They would break, and I would have to fix them, so I'd have to slice them together. So I saw a lot of movies that way, and I was like, good Lord, these women look like crap. <laughs> you know, that they look like they needed to wash their hair, put on some makeup, they had pimples on their butts, dirty feet. It's like, good Lord, this is a mess. Women need to be represented better than this. So I said, what the hell, I think I could do this and do it better, and I think I did. I, I think you did. I am. I, I'm not just saying this, but I thought you were the most beautiful woman to ever have graced the, the the screens in the adult movie industry. And I'm not just saying that because I'm talking to you. Well, thank you. So you're not blowing blowing smoke up my hoo ha? Huh? No, a, a, absolutely not. <laughs> Although I'm finding it quite strange at the moment. Obviously, we're talking on Skype, and I'm. I'm. Is it your pussy I'm looking at? Yes. It. it well, it's not mine. I will say it is a lovely cat. Let's let's just not uh, get the get the listeners too excited. <laughs> oh, I have two of them, by the way. I've got three. Now that just sounds weird, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yes. This is Power FM. At the moment, you've you've got a book coming out. It's a, it, Am I right in saying it's a, a book of your memoirs? Yes, it is, and it's called Inside Seika. It's with so much that has gone on in your life, this this book must be as big as the Bible. <laughs> uh, it, <laughs> well, it's 352 pages, I believe. And where can people actually purchase this, Seeker? Uh, they can get it at Seeker.com. Um, well, I've I'll, already started taking pre-orders for it, and they're coming in at a, a, at a rate of about one every 20 to 30 minutes. Oh, that's fantastic. That is oh, it's, fantastic. it's brilliant. I, it's just, and overwhelming at the same time. But it's also yeah. going to be on Amazon and barnesandnoble.com, and it will be available in an ebook. I mean, we've had quite a few questions come in a, a, as well. I've, I've, can, are you okay answering some of these questions from the listeners? Absolutely. I saw some of them, uh, some of them on your Facebook page, and it just made me laugh. I know. Some of them are filthy. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's okay. I mean, we wanted to know, you know, the yes, I've done that. I, I know. I, that was actually a friend of mine as well. That wasn't just a listener. <laughs> Terrible. You can see the kind of people that I hang around with. Well, you should see some of the people I hang around with. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to, actually. Yeah, I'll have to see if I can get a TV crew to, uh, to come over and we'll, we'll do a documentary. It should be very interesting. <laughs> Oh. That might be quite interesting. Yeah, well, that uh, that's now that is something to think about. Yes, uh, I've got uh, Joe Bleach. He's a singer in a rock and roll band. He said, "If you had the chance, 
or choice to do it with Madonna or Cindy Lauper back in the 80s, what one of those ladies would you have chose? Cindy Lauper. Really? No, I'm surprised. I thought you would have gone Madonna, but uh, Cindy Lauper. Oh, it, yeah. I, it, I just think she, I mean, Madonna is brilliant. You know, she's she's brilliant when it comes to business and things of that nature. And, and yes, she's creative. But I just absolutely adore Cindy Lauper. She just seems like she'd be so much fun. Brilliant. I mean, I, I, um, I wouldn't kick Madonna's shoes from underneath my bed, but... <laughs> Oh dear. Um, Martin Sargent says, what are you up to tomorrow night? <laughs> I don't know, Sergeant. Why don't you come on over should... and find out, baby? And uh, Simon Farrell says that he's still got lots of your original movies. Uh, would you ever make a comeback, he says? No. No? Not, not interested? Not Been there, interested. Seen it. I'm too damn busy. And Darren, he says... You were always his guilty pleasure, although he recalls being caught by his mum whilst enjoying one of your movies, and then he got his backside smacked six times, and he wants compensation. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like his mum just threatened him with a good time. This is Power FM. So we pick up our interview again with a Seeker after I've had to phone her back because the recording went a bit faulty on Skypey. This is how it starts. Hello again. The 21st century that we live in and you still only have the technology to do 15 minutes at a time. Um, I can do more than that, actually. <laughs> I bet you can. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> I meant when I'm recording on Skype with this program that I use. Oh, I well, there you go. More than 15 you... minutes at a time. <laughs> <laughs> so you... You, you took me to the gutter there. <laughs> That's okay. I like it down there. It's fun sometimes. <laughs> I remember when I was about 15, I went to London to Soho, and I went in one of the, the little seedy little shops that they used to have all over the place, and, and I saw the cover of Inside Seeker, and I, I brought it, and I got it home, and it was a Cowboy and Western video in, in it. <laughs> oh, no! I was thoroughly disappointed, so oh, I travelled on that train all the way back from London, thinking this is it, this is it, and I put it in. And it was a and it was a John Wayne movie. <laughs> it's just so sexy the way he walked and rode that horse. Have you got any advice to to want to be porn stars, people that are thinking about getting in the industry? Because it used to hear so many horror stories that it was ran by the mafia and they was all drug lords. You know, the mafia doesn't exist the way that it once did, or if it does, it's not yeah. as visual as it once was. Yeah. As far yeah. as uh, drugs are concerned, I knew that they were around. I didn't do drugs when I was working. I didn't even drink when I was working. The only thing I do anymore in, in that realm is I smoke cigarettes and I drink wine. Oh, you can't beat a glass of wine. What, what's your favorite tipple? Um, I love a, a really nice a Sauvignon Blanc. As a matter mm. of fact, I'm having a fag and a glass of wine now, mate. <laughs> and it's, oh. it's only uh, about eight, almost nine o'clock in the morning here, and I had my first glass at eight thirty. I'm in a place called Lanzarote at the moment. Oh, I bet it's beautiful there. Yeah, it's about thirty degrees at the moment. It's lovely, sunny, and blue sky. So yeah, it's um, yeah, it's really nice. And I'm talking to you, which is even nicer. Oh, I wish we were sitting on the beach doing this interview. That would be good. That would raise a few eyebrows. There's a lot of nudist beaches around here. <laughs> so anyway, your advice to want to be porn stars is basically, you know, go into the industry if you're sure that's that's what you want to do. And well, first and know, foremost, give yourself a good education. Make sure you have a plan B, something to fall back on, something that you can do, because it doesn't last forever. Yeah. That was that was advice that John Holmes gave me when I was doing the movie Dracula Sucks with him back in the 70s. And oh, okay. also, you know, you have to remember that once you do an adult movie or a porn movie, if you will, it's always going to be there. It's never going to go away. Once a porn star, always a porn star. You'll be a porn star from the first day you do it until way after you die. 
So all you listeners, all you wannabe porn stars out there, take those wise words from Seeker. Really do. And um, I'm not saying don't do it. I had a wonderful time when I was in front of the camera and, and now behind the camera as well. But just remember, it's not something that goes away, kids. This is Power FM. Have, have you got a favorite co-star? If you look back and think, I really enjoyed working with you. Oh, God, I, uh, I absolutely adored working with Veronica Hart and Kay Parker, my all-time favorite ladies. I enjoyed very much working with Mike Ranger, Randy West, Jamie Gillis. My God, he was a sexy man. Get me all and hot and bothered and get me going. I need a bit of the twigs and berries. <laughs> the twigs and berries. I haven't heard that saying before. In England, they just say meat and two veg. And I also see, oh, this surprised me, you're a bit of a boxing fan as well. Uh, yes, I love boxing. I absolutely uh, adore boxing. I, lo- I like sports, period. But I like yeah. boxing. I love ice hockey. Ice hockey? Oh, yeah, now I my, love to see the fights. My partner, she, she, she was born in Moscow and lived in Russia until she was 20. So, yeah, she's hugely into uh, ice hockey as well. Yeah, so I know. You know. All the fights kind of get me all juicy. I mean, have you got a favorite boxer as well, or just boxing well, in general? My my favorite boxer is Kenny Norton. Oh, Ken Norton! What a body that guy had! Oh, I, and he's such a lovely man. Yeah, he had some classic fights with the likes of Ali and Frazier as well, didn't he's he? He's the only man to ever have knocked Ali out. Yeah, Ken I'm Norton. friends with Kenny. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic! <laughs> so, anyway, you're. Your but, I love the, but I love American baseball. Not well, this there you go. Not cricket crap that takes two, three weeks to play one game. Oh, I hate cricket. you like golf? Um, yeah, I do like golf, actually. I, I play a little golf. I'm not good. Do you want to play around with me? I would love <laughs> to play around with you. <laughs> you. You fell right into that one. Yes, I did. <laughs> So I should imagine, judging just by the the chat that we've had today, I should imagine you can be a little bit outrageous from time to time. Oh, no, moi? Yes, moi. <laughs> I, yeah, I've been known to be a bit crazy. But crazy's good. A bit crazy in this crazy world that we live in. I, I think no, that's a good thing. Be. You have to have some outlet or some resource to get out frustration. We're we're not well, here for a long time. We're here for a short time and a good time. So you know, let's do it that way. And I've got to say, it's been absolutely lovely talking to you, Seiko. And I really do hope this book sells well for you. And you've you've gave me a, a fond little sentimental journey down memory lane, and I'm sure thousands of other people as well. Well, thank you, darling. And I hope you get the book and you read the book. It's you can get it at Seika.com. Click on the the shop page. The name of the book is Inside Seika, and I'd love to hear what you all have to say about the book. And would there be any chance of uh, catching up again with you in the not-too-distant future? I would love to, darling. Any time that you want to chat with me, whether we're on air or not, it's fine. That's absolutely lovely, and I should talk to you very soon indeed. Lovely, Scott. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.